family this is your boy Jay rhythm today i'm going to be showing you how to add a slowdown effect on a track in logic pro x all right let's get into it so i got this track in logic just some random track that i found in the apple loops so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to hit t on my keyboard and that's going to bring this drop down menu and I'm going to go over to fade down to where it says fade tool. And then I'm going to click right here and drag over to how far I want it to fade. And I'm going to let it go. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit T again to get it back to the pointer tool. And then you're going to hold control, click and hold control and click on the track. It's going to bring this drop down menu and you're going to hit slow down. Once you do that. Pretty cool, right? So you can you can then be able to manipulate it the way ever way you want to. So how do you do that? You're gonna hit T, you're gonna go back to where it says fade tool, and you can click and drag it up to make it where the slowdown is like drastic, or you can pull it all the way out to where it slows down like immediately cutting off. Or you can do it where it does, you can click it and drag it out to where it slow downs over time. Now, not just only that, you can add a speed up effect on it too. So what we're going to do is you're going to hit T and you're going to go down to the, uh, the, the fade tool again. You're going to go to the beginning of it and you're going to fade it. Then you're going to hit T again. You're going to hit and hold control. And you're going to see it, it changes once you get to the front of it and hit speed up. Woo! And that's how you add a speed up and a slowdown effect on the track. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be uploading more content to help you on your music production journey. All right, we out.